Enabling the Wi-Fi Direct. This how to enable Wi-Fi Direct? Just go to Device. Network Settings. Set the network to Wi-Fi. Restart the printer after changing settings to take effect. If you want to know the password of Wi-Fi Direct, just follow these steps. Passphrase also known as password. You can also reset the passphrase to create a new password. You can't edit on your choice of password. Users can print the password they generate. So here is the password. Connecting to IP on the printer is also possible through Wi-Fi Direct. As long as you entered the correct password of the printer. Now enter the default gateway IP of the printer. So we now able to access the EWS of the printer. Through this we can connect without the presence of Wi-Fi routers. Printing from Smartphones just go to Fuji Print Utility. Tap Print then select Photos. Select the file you want to print. Here you can adjust settings based your requirements. So there are many settings to choose from. If all are set, tap start to start printing. So this is what we print using our mobile phone. Set up Scan 2. Network Folder. Install first the Skinfax Address Book Editor. Access on it. Before that, we will create new folder first for our Scan to Network sample. Share first the folder for Scan Destination. Just follow the steps. The folder is now shared. Now we will set up the scan to network folder. For faster setup you can click and proceed to Computer Settings Wizard. Share name is the folder you shared. Login name is your computer name.
Don't forget to save all after the setup. So we will now try to scan the document from the printer. Performing scan. To network folder. Tap scan to network first. You can change the file name. You can change the file format. You can adjust also the resolution. Paper size setting. Prepare the document to be scanned. After the settings has finalized, tap Start. If you add document in the flatbed, just tap scan another page. So the scan file was sent directly to the folder you shared. Print. Accounting. Feature. We must first enable print accounting on the printer, then go to device, then security settings. Top print accounting. Make sure print accounting is enabled or on state. Machine need to restart in order for changes to take effect. An authenticated user must be enabled. To enable print accounting on printer driver, go first to control panel, then select devices and printers. Click on the driver, then go to properties. Then click on configuration. On the configuration, click accounting. Then enable account setup. User ID will be username on your PC. It's okay if there is no password. Click apply for the changes to take effect. We will now set the print accounting on the printer IP address. Please log in first to administrator. Usually the password by default is xadmin. Tap accounting. Add user accounts. Your username you use is the username on your PC. You can edit on your number of prints either black or color. So we will input a small amount of prints. We will try this sample print. I will produce 10 number of copies. We will print pages that exceeds the print accounting page count limit. If it exceeds the limit, it suddenly cancels the job. 
We will refresh the browser to take effect the print accounting. Tap again the user account. So you now see the counter of the print accounting reached the limit and cannot print black and white anymore.